Welcome back to the Lunchtime News. Thank you for staying with us. We now cross over to our Montreal studios where Memory Mkwentlovo is on standby. Good afternoon, Memory. Thank you so much, Prudence, and a good afternoon to you. And today I have the pleasure of hosting a published author, a communication strategist, and a certified life coach, Jonah Nyoni. Jonah, good afternoon and welcome to Lunchtime News. Good afternoon, Memo. Thank you so much. Great. And uh, zeroing in on, uh, you know, the life coach cape, was it a calling? How did it all start? Um, I think I was shaped by circumstances. You know, I usually laugh, I jest with people saying, you know, we grew up in a poor family, that even the poor had to call us poor. So I realized that there was a need for me to look within and to look outside for resources that can enable me to become a better person in life. But I discovered that it's not only me that's going through the same situation. Other people out there are in a certain uh, predicament in life. So as a result, they need the life or the expertise of a coach. So I decided, no, let me go into this because I think this is what I love the most. Mm -hmm. And uh, in one of your books, uh, you penned a book titled uh, Speak Like a Pro. What does it take to be confident in public speaking? Confidence is one thing that makes everyone win. It could be an industry. Mm -hmm. And what does it take to become confident? You know, I love what is called the ABC model of confidence. Number one, where you need to zero in and read on your own attitude. Number two, the B stands for boldness. And then number three, it takes for courage. I'm telling you, if you are to sell something in the street, it will take you to say, okay, okay, am I willing to sell this? If I'm not, okay, what should I do? I should push for the power within. You know, I love uh, the speaker, Tony Robbins. He right. says there is power within, which therefore means that innate ability has to be pushed out. Right. And it can only be pushed out in confidence. If you're not confident, let, let me just give you a working example. All right. If you are to board a plane today, mm -hmm. then the pilot says, guys, I'm not so sure of what I'm going to be doing, but I'm going to be flying you. <laughs> Will you jump into the plane? Probably <laughs> no. So people out there, they are looking for people that are, are going to sell. And mm -hmm. what are they selling? Mm -hmm. They're just selling confidence. Wow. Mm. And uh, your target audience when you do uh, this life coach thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I've got a, a, a bigger audience, but my biggest audience are company executives. All right. Where I talk to company executives that need to articulate a dream, a vision, and speak to their subordinates, number one. Then secondly, speak to their uh, stakeholders. So I come in to help executives say, guys, you can become better. Mm -hmm. Number one, as an individual, remember, you know, it should be John Maxwell who said, everything rises and falls on leadership. Yes. Which therefore means leadership is influence nothing more, nothing less. So if you are not, if you are not a leader yourself first, you can't lead the next person. So I'm simply saying to the executive, learn to lead yourself before you lead someone else. Yeah, mm. yeah profound. And, uh, you know, there is so much that is going on in our society, you know, in terms of uh, the youths. And uh, there are so many are suffering from a depression, especially, uh, you know, these young ones. A word to them? Let me give you a word by Zig. Mm -hmm. You know, Zig Ziglar is one of my favorite authors. He said, man was designed for accomplishments, engineered for success, and is endowed with seeds of greatness. Which therefore means if you are going through thick and thin, if you are going through pain, the issue is you need to understand that, number one, there's power within. So if you can use that power within to discover yourself and work towards your goal, you might be going through pain. I usually say, as a coach, you don't go through pain. You grow through pain. So in other terms, the pain is okay. Let it make you grow and then you can become a better leader and a better influencer in the society. Wow. And uh, maybe a word of encouragement uh, to anyone who just wants to be a life coach and a public speaker. How many books have you written so far? All right. So I've written about eight books wow. and uh, these eight books five of them are still in my computer and then three ones three of those books have been published and uh, my favorite one is called speak like a pro way i talk about public speaking and uh, to someone who wants to be a life coach number one you need to understand that you have got a life assignment you need to understand number one your purpose what is purpose this is the reason for being. If you understand why you were created, then you can impact a better life to someone else. Then secondly, the most important thing that you need to do, you need to be a certified coach. I know there are coaches out there who say, I'm a life coach, I'm a life yeah. coach. It's okay. Mm -hmm. But you need the tools that are going to help you become an effective uh, life coach. So you need certification, mm -hmm. which is very important. Wow, Jonah, I must thank you so much for coming through uh, to Lunchtime News and uh, hoping that uh, you will be uh, paying us a visit anytime soon. You are not new to our screens and on radio as well. Thank you so much. Prudence, uh, thank you so much. It's back to you in the studio. Thank you, Mary. We now give you.